Now let's dive into an LLC partnership. With an LLC partnership, there is no difference between how a partnership acts, whether it's an LLC or whether it's a partnership. Just you have that extra level of protection with the LLC designation. Now with a partnership, a partnership has more than one owner, so you can have two plus on up. But it, so if you have two owners, whether they are husband or wife or not, you are a partnership. Once you make this designation, the first thing you need to do is you need to get a federal ID number with the IRS. You're gonna use this federal ID number to set up a bank account. You definitely need to make sure that you have a separate bank account for this partnership that you are in. It helps designate what your income and expenses are just for this company, especially since you have a second party involved with you. You wanna make sure everything's separate. If you're audited, it makes it easier for you to provide records because you have that separate bank account with everything already there and nothing personal or other companies gets commingled in with it. You'll also want that federal ID number because if you have employees, you'll use it to file your tax return for this partnership. And then you may have vendors that need that federal ID number from you and you don't wanna to have to give them a social security number. So make sure you get that federal ID number as soon as you get your company set up so you can start operating underneath that. Now a partnership, it's also, it, you're going to need to have an operating agreement. This operating agreement is going to designate how your partnership flows with anybody buying in, with anybody wanting out, how the income and expenses get divided between those partners. partners. Are you 50-50, are you not? All that's gonna be spelled out in your operating agreement. And you'll want to seek out an attorney to help get that set up. So then taxing wise, when you file for a partnership designation, you are going to file a form 1065 for your tax return. The 1065 is actually what we would refer to as a flow through entity. So this form is going to have all of your income and all of your expenses for this LLC partnership. Then this return down here does not actually pay taxes, does not actually pay taxes. So when I say it's a flow through entity, once you get your income and expenses down here at the bottom, you'll have a net income, income minus expenses. It will then push those numbers over to what we refer to as a schedule K-1. And so this K-1, each partner will get one based on their ownership percentage. So if you have $20,000 net income, you have 50-50 partners, two partners, then $10,000 will be on this K-1, $10,000 will be on the partner's K-1. These K-1s flow through to your individual return. And that is where the tax gets paid. Now let's talk about how it gets taxed just a little bit as far as tax rates go. So if you have a K-1 with income in line one and four, that income is gonna be subject to what we refer to as self-employment taxes. Self-employment tax is Social Security and Medicare. And those two together are 15.3%. That is on top of federal taxes and state taxes. Whatever your federal and state tax rate is will be based off of your individual return. If you have items in the all the other um, lines, two, three, five, six, seven, on down, those aren't likely subject to self-employment tax. So just beware that you could, on top of your federal and state taxes, have an extra 15.3% that you will be paying over and above your regular taxes. One other notable thing with a partnership is you can have an unlimited amount of employees, but partners cannot be an employee. So be sure that as a partner, you're not taking a W-2 paycheck. So in recap of what a partnership looks like, you're gonna wanna make sure you get that federal ID number. You wanna make sure you have that operating agreement file a form 1065 and understand what tax rates you're gonna be subject to depending on the type of business that you're going into.